Moin Moin and welcome to Ralph's Photo Booth. Yeah, in the last year I showed you the uh, unboxing of the DJI Phantom 2 Vision. That's a quadrocopter with a built-in camera. So, um, and now I will show you how to assemble the whole stuff. Um, before I will give you a little bit explanation of the quadrocopter because um, the DJI Phantom is a very well-known uh, quadrocopter and last year um, they um, brought the um, DJI Phantom 2 and the DJI Phantom Vision. Um, and so some of my readers asked me what's the difference between the Vision and the normal Phantom 2 because they have to decide which one is the uh, right for her needs. Um, so the main difference between the Vision and the normal Phantom 2 is that the normal Phantom 2 has no camera. If you want to take pictures or if you want to take videos, you have to buy extra stuff. Usually that's a GoPro Hero 3 or 3 Plus and that's a gimbal. What's a gimbal? A gimbal is underneath the quadrocopter and um, a gimbal works in two directions. So if the um, uh, quadrocopter makes a move to the side or to the front, it turns like this and it turns like this. So to hold the camera stable, you have a 2D gimbal that works against this direction and this direction so the camera is stable in the air and the picture is um, still on the focus you have and not going like left or right or up and down. So that's um, the most important thing of the gimbal. The Phantom 2 Vision has the built-in camera so you don't have to buy an extra camera but it has only a two uh, or sorry a one-way gimbal which works only in this direction. So if the quadrocopter fl fly forward or backward it makes a um, move like this and the camera is still stable because the gimbal um, works against the movement of the quadrocopter and the camera is still stable. But it works not in this direction. So that's the disadvantage of the um, Vision 2. If you buy the um, uh, normal Phantom, you can buy a two-day gimbal which works against both directions. Um, but you have to buy a GoPro uh, Hero camera and you have to assemble it by yourself or you go to a dealer, there are lots of dealers um, which provide the Phantom 2 with a uh, gimbal, Senmuse gimbal usually and um, a GoPro uh, Hero 3. So that's the main difference. The advantage of the Vision is it's except for the assembling what I show you now, it's ready to go. So you can set up this stuff and you can go outside and you can start and you have the uh, view of the camera on your smartphone. You can uh, see the picture of the of the built-in camera on your smartphone. So you will see um, which picture you take and which video will you take. Um, you have the flight information on your smartphone. So you have all the information um, for your first flight on the smartphone and it's a little bit easier because you don't have to assemble stuff, you don't have to um, put in the, the, the uh, gimbal and stuff like that. You can go out and start flying and you have the, the view of the camera on your smartphone. This is called FPV, first person view, because you will see uh, at the first person the picture of the camera. So because it's a little bit easier, I will start with the um, Phantom 2 Vision to explain next steps and in the next videos maybe I will be, be explain the, 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 the possibility to change between the different systems. I will see what comes because it's very new but I think the, the, um, the dealers will provide accessory stuff so you can change between the different um, systems. First of all, before you want to go out, you have to uh, charge the battery. Um, on the back side of the camera, you have the battery compartment. Just press these both 
um, buttons and then pull out the battery. That's the battery and here on the side of the battery we have the points where to charge it. Um, that's the DGI charger and on the end of the charger you have a um, connector like this. You have to open the connector. You will see the Bose um, pins and then just put it in like this and that's it. My battery is full so you won't see that it's, uh, that the battery charged but usually if you charge the battery here on the side we have four green LED lights and the LED lights will go up one by one till the battery is full charged and then the charger stops charging and that's it. Next point we have a Wi-Fi extender that's this part here and the Wi-Fi extender has a battery too so you have char to charge this one then um, we have a USB cable you put the one end here in the connector on the um, on the box and the other end you can put in your desktop PC or in a USB charger. I usually use the Pixel C4. That's a real nice tool because you can charge the four uh, batteries in different sizes. You can charge uh, batteries of, uh, for cameras. You have the, the pins you can move and you have a USB connector to charge USB devices. So that's very nice and now I will charge this one too. You see there's a red light so it charges by now. Next point is the uh, remote control and in the remote control we also need four batteries. On the back side we have the battery compartment. Just move it down and here we are. Here's the battery compartment and I use the uh, rechargeable batteries here for of them you need and just put them in the battery compartment. So let's do this. Here we are. And if everything works fine just put the switch on the front side on. You will hear a beep and the green light. Everything is fine so it can close the battery compartment again switch it off now. Next point is the quadrocopter. Um, at the quadrocopter we have a small sheet um, with um, the um, light signals of the Phantom 2 because on the underside you have um, four lights and they will guide you if the Phantom 2 works correct or if there's any need to recalibrate or um, you have no GPS signal or anything like this. So my suggestion um, remove this one don't throw it away. Um, for my first flights and for my first outdoor experiences I put this one on the remote control so I have it always with me and um, I have the most important signals of the uh, quadrocopter every time with me on the remote control. My, my advice put it at the uh, remote control. Next point are the propellers. Um, we have four propellers Two works uh, clockwise and two works cent uh, contra uh, center um, uh, contra clockwise. CCY and C uh, C CW, sorry, CCW and CW. Um, the reason is simple. If you would have four working in the same direction, um, the quadrocopter would uh, spin around and won't stop spinning. So you have to have two clockwise and um, two um, um, center clockwise. So um, to find out which one is which it's very easy because um, you get eight um, propellers. Um, you need four of them and as you can see the propellers have a color um, top, a colored top and the one is black and the one is silver. These are the two different propellers and on the um, Vision 2 you have the exactly the same. You will see here this one has a black 
dot inside and as you can see here the silver one has no black dot so that's very easy to find out which one is which. Remove the forewarning pads on the motors and then take the black one, put it on the black and just turn it and you will see it works very easy to get it. Um, if you don't know which direction is correct on the top of the propellers there's a small sign, there's a lock, open lock and close lock so you will see which one is which direction so that's very easy to find out. So that's it. If you have done everything right, you should see you should see the two silver in the opposite and the two blacks in the opposite direction. Just tighten them a little bit. Um, they are self-tightened, so it's not uh, important to work very hard. Just um, um, like we say in German, hand warm. So just put this this tool here. Put this tool. Um, there on the motor, put it in like this and then uh, screw up a little bit. I mean it's not, as I said before, you should not tighten it up too hard um, because they are self-tightened. So that's enough, that's absolutely enough. Just hand warm and that's it. So if you want to close the, uh, the propellers and you don't know which direction is uh, to close and which one is to open. The direction with the, the, the bigger end, this one is the bigger and this one is the flat end. So the bigger end, if you press on the bigger end, you will close. I'll show you here. If you hold it, this one is to close and if you move it on the thin end, in the opposite direction it's to open. The big end close and the thin end open up. So that's the Phantom that's ready. You have to mark the arms with these red or blue um, uh, tape. It's in the box of the Phantom. You can choose between red and blue. And another advice um, if you have a, if you have a um, um, a, a small thing where you can put the, the, the letters on and, and tape it on stuff like uh, like uh, cameras or stuff like that. Um, put your name on, the, on, the, on one of the arms and your phone number so I know you won't miss your quadrocopter and you won't to lose your quadrocopter but when it's happened and it goes down uh, in an area where you are not uh, will find it um, it's good to um, have the phone number, the address and the name on the quadrocopter so if someone finds it um, you, he can call you or bring it back to you. Next point is the remote control. The battery is in. Um, and the next point is the Wi-Fi extender. Um, so we put the Wi-Fi extender on it. That's very easy. This is the front side and here we are with the uh, screw. Just open the screw. Hold this, hold this a little bit because it's easier when it's not outside um, and it will fall down on your floor. And then, then put the screw again in. Turn it a little bit towards you so you can see the lights because you need to see the lights for a proper um, operation. Screw it a little bit fasten and that's it. Here we are. That's the extender. Next point is the holder for your smartphone. This one will take your smartphone during your flights. It works like this. And um, you sh can put the holder here on the arm of the remote control. You can put it on this point or on this point. It depends what you like more. You should try out which one is uh, 
better for you and which one works better. So um, I will assemble this one, open screw number one and screw number two. In the original, um, in original it's disassembled. Um, I did one for the German video. So yes, here we are. Hold this one and watch out you have two directions. This one, the round one, goes um, to the bottom and the other side goes up here and then you screwdriver and fix it. I like the position, the upper position a little bit more because then the smartphone is a little bit closer to the remote control and so this one I like more and fix it and here we are now we put the smartphone in and that's it okay so last point we put the <laughs> show you how this looks like when it's ready you can turn this one a little bit on the back side there's a screw to tighten and to lose it a little bit so you can move this one up and down and here we are with the screen okay so last point the battery of the phantom just press the button on the back side and you will see if the battery is fully charged yes here we are all four LEDs are green so it's fully charged and now we move it in the compartment there's only one direction you can put it in if you are wrong won't move in just turn it and then move it in till it's click and that's it here on the camera we have the connection to the camera check if this one is really um, in the in the connector it has to move in all the way down sometimes it happens that it's a little bit loose or um, it's a little bit outside so check this one here we have a micro SD card as you can see here um, when you buy the um, uh, quadrocopter there's uh, I think four gigabyte SD card inside so you don't have to buy one for your first flight but if you make more flights and want to get more videos you should buy a 16 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. Next point um, move the switch to the side where it says um, Wi-Fi on so that's the right side completely to the right side um, move the switch here to the right side and that's it now we start first the remote control that's very important when you go outside and you want to fly first start the remote control it should make a beep and the green LED goes on and then check if both small levers on the top position move them up in the top position next point start the Wi-Fi extender put it to on you will see the green light here then the battery is fully charged and after a while the other light will also flash and um, you will get the connection here we are it starts flashing now you see here we are now we remove the front cover of the camera and we start the quadrocopter press the button once and then hold it a little bit longer still all the lights go on and that's the sound you will hear very very often as often as you fly you will hear this sound now you hear a little bit uh, like a like a zirping here and that's that's the gimbal so you see if I move the camera uh, the quadrocopter the gimbal tries to hold the camera in a steady position so that's the gimbal but again it's only one direction not a second direction look on the back side of the camera and you will see the green light 
this one should be on. The green light is very important because the green light um, says that the Wi-Fi connection works and the, um, the camera is transmitting the signal down to the Wi-Fi extender. So here we are. Um, it takes a while um, to connect the uh, Wi-Fi extender with the um, camera so uh, be a little bit patient you will see after a while the green light goes on again and this says that the connection um, will start and um, the connection between the Wi-Fi extender and the camera will work. Now you have to connect the smartphone to the system. Um, therefore, you go into the um, um, Wi-Fi connection menu of your smartphone. I move it out so it's a little bit easier to show. Go to the um, Wi-Fi connection menu of your smartphone and um, after some seconds you will see there it says phantom and a number behind this one and that's the uh, Wi-Fi extender. If you see something else with phantom or uh, DGI or anything like this don't connect to this one only connect to the phantom because if you use the other thing you connect directly to the camera and the range um, is only like 10 meters and that's it and, and not 300 meters um, like when you use the Wi-Fi extender so that's very important that you go to the phantom just click on it wait a second and here we are you don't have to put in a Wi-Fi password or something like that um, take some seconds and you're connected with the Wi-Fi extender next point um, you need the Phantom app, the DJI Phantom app um, this one is the Phantom app, you will find it in the App Store just press the button and then you see here we are DJI and you have the camera, album, news and settings. You see the green light, it has connected to the Wi-Fi extender and now we press the camera button and when everything works fine you will see after a while that it is connected to the camera. Here we are. That's it. That's everything. Perfect. Um, so you have the signal from the camera on your smartphone. You can move up the camera up and down. Um, you see it, the camera moves. I turn it a little bit, then it's easier to see for you. You can, you can turn the camera with your smartphone and you will see the different pictures. Here we are on the smartphone and then we can move up the camera a little bit. You see it goes up. It takes a few seconds to um, refresh the picture but um, when, when you fly you will see that the, the picture is a little, bit, um, a little bit behind the real life picture. Um, you have to work with it and you have to learn um, how big the, the, the time lapse is between the real picture and the picture you will get on your smartphone. There are some more interesting things you can see. You can see how far and in which direction the um, vision flies. You have the, uh, the artificial horizon here. You can change between camera and uh, video function. You have the different settings here. Um, so these are things I will show you a little bit later when I make my first flight um, and I will guide you through the first flight and to the settings on your smartphone. So that's it for today. Um, I think one thing we should do even if we are in a house but um, Usually it's not a danger to start the motors of the Phantom Vision um, because um, it's uh, not dangerous. Just move both sticks to the center and the Phantom will start. So 
So that's it. Here we go. Hope you enjoyed my little video about the uh, assembling of the Phantom 2 Vision. In my next video I will show you my first flight with the uh, Phantom and I will explain you um, what are the most important things uh, you have to deal with. Um, insurance in Germany is very important. Uh, in other countries you have to check if you need an insurance um, for flying and um, I will guide you through the first steps of your flight. Thanks for watching me and um, till now I say bye bye and moin moin.